What if I told you that Boeing, the company that once dominated the aviation world, is now watching airlines flock to their European rival? By the end of this video, you'll discover the shocking reasons why Airbus is winning the battle for the skies. Today, we're diving deep into the ultimate aviation showdown. We'll uncover the real numbers behind the competition, explore the cutting-edge technology that's changing everything, and reveal the surprising factors that are making airlines choose Airbus over Boeing in 2025. Get ready to see the world of aviation from a whole new perspective. Let's start with the cold, hard facts. The numbers tell a story that's impossible to ignore. For years, Boeing and Airbus have been locked in a titanic struggle for market dominance. But 2025 marks a significant turning point. The delivery figures, the order backlogs, and the sheer volume of new aircraft being put into service paint a clear picture. As of the latest update, Airbus has delivered approximately 300 aircraft, slightly outpacing Boeing's 278. While these numbers might seem close, the trajectory is what truly matters. Airbus is confidently targeting 820 deliveries for the entire year, a testament to their consistent production and efficient supply chain. Boeing, on the other hand, is struggling to maximize its capacity, particularly with its 737 MAX family. Limited by ongoing regulatory scrutiny and production caps, this isn't just a minor difference. It's a symptom of deeper issues. But these delivery numbers are just the tip of the iceberg. The real indicator of future dominance lies in the order backlog. Airbus currently boasts an astounding 8,668 jets on order as of April 2025. What's even more striking is that 88.9% of these orders are for their narrow-body workhorses, the A220 and A320 families. These are the bread-and-butter aircraft for most airlines, flying countless short- to medium-haul routes every single day. Here's where it gets really interesting. The choice between Airbus and Boeing isn't just about economics. It's about a fundamental difference in design philosophy, particularly evident in the cockpit. For pilots, stepping into an Airbus versus a Boeing is like entering two different worlds. Boeing, with its traditional yoke and conventional cockpit layout, prioritizes manual flying. Many seasoned pilots find this familiar and appreciate the direct tactile feedback. It's a design philosophy rooted in decades of aviation history, emphasizing the pilot's direct control over the aircraft. For some, it represents the purest form of flying. Airbus, on the other hand, pioneered the fly-by-wire system, replacing mechanical controls with electronic signals, and introduced the side-stick controller. This highly automated system is often considered more intuitive for newcomers and reduces pilot workload, especially in complex situations. It's a more modern approach, designed for efficiency and integration with advanced flight management systems. This difference isn't just aesthetic, it impacts pilot training, operational procedures, and even airline recruitment strategies. Beyond the cockpit, passenger comfort plays a surprisingly significant role in airline decisions. While both manufacturers offer competitive comfort, especially in their wide-body aircraft, Airbus tends to have a slight edge in cabin design. Their aircraft often feature wider cabins and larger windows, creating a more spacious and airy feel for passengers. For luxury travelers, this can be a subtle yet powerful differentiator, influencing their choice of airline. When it comes to fuel efficiency, a critical factor for airlines' bottom lines, newer models from both manufacturers are remarkably similar. While Boeing might historically have edged out slightly on single-aisle aircraft, the differences are now marginal. Both companies are constantly innovating to reduce fuel burn, recognizing that every drop saved translates into significant cost reductions and a smaller carbon footprint. Let's look at two of their most popular narrow-body jets, the Airbus A321neo and the Boeing 737 MAX 8. The A321neo, a top-selling single-aisle aircraft, offers a range of 7,400 km and seats 180 to 220 passengers. Its list price is around $129.5 million. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 is Boeing's best seller, has a range of 6,500 km, seats 162 to 178, and lists for about $117.1 million. While the MAX is more affordable, the A321neo's superior range and capacity make it a more versatile option for many airlines, allowing them to open new routes and carry more passengers per flight. This versatility is a key factor in its widespread adoption. 
Here's the part that Boeing probably doesn't want you to know, or at least wants you to forget. The years 2024 and 2025 have been particularly challenging for the American aerospace giant. A series of high-profile incidents and ongoing issues have severely marred its reputation and significantly impacted its financial performance. The most prominent of these was the shocking 737 MAX door blowout incident in early 2024, which brought renewed scrutiny from the FAA and the public. This wasn't an isolated event, it was part of a pattern of quality control issues that have plagued Boeing's production line. These incidents have led to increased oversight, slower production rates, and a general erosion of trust among airlines and passengers alike. The financial fallout has been equally severe. Boeing reported over $5 billion loss in the third quarter of 2024, a direct consequence of production delays, quality fixes, and compensation to airlines for grounded aircraft. This financial hit has forced the company to trim its workforce by 10%, impacting approximately 17,000 jobs. The human cost of these challenges is immense, affecting thousands of families and communities. Adding to their woes, the highly anticipated 777X, a crucial wide-body aircraft for Boeing's future, has faced repeated delays. Now pushed back to 2026, these delays mean airlines are waiting longer for new capacity forcing them to look elsewhere. While Boeing was dealing with these crises, Airbus was quietly doing something brilliant, something that allowed them to capitalize on their rivals' misfortunes and solidify their position as the new leader in commercial aviation. And that's the story of Airbus's master strategy. This is where Airbus's strategy becomes genius. While Boeing grappled with internal turmoil and public scrutiny, Airbus maintained a remarkably consistent production pace and avoided major public crises. This stability, coupled with strategic innovation, allowed them to quietly but decisively capture market share. The A321neo and A350 have been absolute success stories for Airbus. The A321neo, with its extended range capabilities, has opened up new possibilities for airlines, allowing them to fly longer routes with a single-aisle aircraft reducing operational costs. The A350, a modern widebody, has seen robust sales from major carriers like Emirates, Delta, and Air France, proving its appeal for long-haul luxury travel. Airbus isn't just delivering existing models, they're pushing the boundaries of aviation with new innovations. The A321 XLR, an ultra-long-range version of the A321neo, is set to revolutionize single-aisle travel allowing airlines to connect distant city pairs directly. And the A350F, a dedicated freighter version of the A350, is poised to capture a significant share of the booming air cargo market. These new aircraft are not just concepts, they are coming into service. It's not just about who sells more planes, it's about who inspires confidence, who delivers consistency, and who is best positioned for the future of flight. Ultimately, the battle between Airbus and Boeing is a dynamic one. While Airbus currently holds the advantage, Boeing is a resilient company with a long history of innovation. Their focus on reputation, restoration, safety, and supply chain stability in 2025 is crucial. Both companies are heavily invested in sustainable aviation fuel and digital transformation. Recognizing that the future of flight depends on these advancements, the skies of tomorrow will be shaped by their ongoing competition, pushing both giants to innovate faster and deliver better. What do you think about this aviation revolution? Are you Team Airbus or Team Boeing? Do you think Boeing will make a strong comeback? Let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We love hearing from our community of aviation enthusiasts. If you found this deep dive fascinating, Make sure to subscribe to Luxium and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next exploration into the world of luxury and aviation. Until next time, keep looking up!